G'day guys, my name is James and I'm one of the engineering dads and today I'll be showing you a simple 3D model print and a paint. So I'm going to be showing you the modeling of a God of War character, Kratos. Absolute great game for all you gamers out there, even if you're a non-gamer. It's great to learn some great mythology, I guess. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to be getting straight into it today and we're going to keep it nice and short and simple for this. But the 3D printer we've been using for all of our project lately is the Anycubic 4Max Pro 2.0, which I anticipate to be making a separate video on. Um, essentially, as the name suggests, it's the second of its kind. So the original Anycubic 4Max Pro actually wasn't that great. It had a lot of issues with temperature control that it wouldn't show the real temperature that it was displaying, which is quite bad for a lot of prints, as you guys would know. And as well as the Z-axis not moving correctly and not leveling correctly as well. So a lot of bed adhesion issues and printing on essentially nothing. So this is my first go at something like this. I was very skeptical at how I would paint because I've never done any painting before, but surprisingly for my first go, I know that's probably not the best, but I'll take it. Um, so I'm keen to do more of these as we move on. So real simple if you're just getting into 3D printing as well. Um, it's great for beginners. All you really need is a hobbyist based paint, which I got from my local hobby store, game, uh, Games Workshop, or as it's now known, Warhammer. So um, you're gonna need a primer, you're gonna need a spray on paint for the first coat. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. 